celebrate. Coming up for the second of these uh, heats with one lap to go. And it's a very big lead that the pole has. Christoph Veselovsky. Then we've got Kip Rona of Kenya. And this crowd going wild because Tom Ekblom, who's one of the favourites for the Finns to get a medal here, he's hanging back a little bit. He's got the blue band across. And there he is back behind Roger Hackney of Great Britain. The Bulgarian Kachanov is just behind the Kenyan. The pole is home and clear, Krzysztof Veselowski. He's run right away from the rest of the field. Then we've got Kip Rono, the 25-year-old Kenyan champion. He's being chased by Kachanov of Bulgaria. And then Tom Ekblom is being cheered on. He's timed it very nicely, making absolutely clear as he goes to the water jump to make himself safe. The pole looks over his shoulder. It's been quite a fast run for him. The last hurdle crop. Now the Kenyan who stuttered at that. Then it's catching off. Then Ekblom of Finland. Good reception for him. Look at this pole crossing the line now in 8.27.08. Ekblom comes over there. And Roger Hackney for Great Britain makes the fifth man. Who's certain to go through to the semi-finals. Third heat of the 3,000 metres, two wire of Kenya, Reitz of Great Britain, Meltzer of East Germany. And they take the bell now. Reitz going wide to go past the Kenyan. Reitz of Great Britain, that is. Richard Tuwai, the Kenyan. Also in the hunt, we've got Maminski of Poland, one of the favourites. He's wearing the white and red of Poland. We've got the East German, Hagen Meltzer in blue on his shoulder. Reeks the tall Britisher on the shoulder of the Kenyan, and it's gonna be a battle for fifth, but look at that, the West German coming very much into the picture, and looking very strong indeed. That's Patrick Ild, with the red band of West Germany, ran wide and tried to make absolutely sure these five getting away, the last water jump, one more barrier to cross, be a battle up the uh, home straight, Patrice Ilg of West Germany. The pole pulls out. Maminski and Colin Reitz of Great Britain making a spirited run for the line to get ahead of the uh, Kenyan. But they're safe now, these five. Up to the line, and it may well be Colin Reitz, Patrice Ilg, Richard Tuwai, Maminski and Meltzer of West Germany. That's another fast run. I think Colin Reitz was the first to cross the line, the United Kingdom champion. This time, 8.22.7.6. The heptathlon javelin throw, the sixth event out of seven. Again, remember, it has to be on points. And Anki Vater is in the bronze medal position. She's a fine thrower, although these are not world-class javelin throwers. Remember, this is only one of seven events. She's short of the 40 meter line which would be a very competent throw for her and she's waiting to see what she's got 37 meters 84 732 points not quite as good as their jumping and their sprinting but nonetheless this difficult technical event the East Germans have got uh, pretty well trained for this is Sabine Pitts in the silver medal position and it has to strike the ground point first. She too is just short of 40 meters, but collecting good points. Keeping herself nice. In fact, she's got over 40 meters. That was a 45 meter line, and she's got 835 points as the world record holder comes up for her throw. Ramona Neubert. What a supreme all-round athlete she is. And she has a fine throw. Look at this. That was over 45 meters. And she only has to complete the 800 meters. They're the three East German girls together. 
they've only got to run a respectable time and East Germany are going to get one, two and three in the heptathlon medals. Judy Livermore under a little pressure. She's had two no throws, she's failed to strike point first and she's been over the front line and yet she's in fourth position and she desperately needs this one. She's watching it, oh it looks flat. Oh, and I, I don't know whether they're going to give her that. A red flag up and she goes out of the competition and it's tears for Judy Livermore. I'm sure she was in fourth place. She high jumped magnificently. She had her other events, the 100 meters hurdles, and she can't believe it. She can't believe it. Three no throws and out of the competition, nowhere on the scoreboard. And German Democratic Republic girls in one, two, three position. Jane Frederick moves up to four. Sabine Everts, the West German girl, in five with one event to go in the 